Welcome back everyone. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at setting up a background uh, for a game that we might want to create. Okay, it's going to have some mountains at the bottom and a nice sky uh, up in the air. So let's go file, new. It's going to have a width of 300 pixels and a height of 168. Okay, uh, we're going to click on create and here we are in our new document. Now to begin, let's start by setting up the background sky. Okay, so I'm gonna rename this layer here to be sky and I'm gonna select a bluish color here that we're gonna be using. We'll select the paint bucket tool and just click to color in everything. Now what we want to do is set up our mountains. So I'm gonna go control shift N, call this one mountains and we are now on a new layer. Now for our mountains, we wanna select a greenish color, something like this. And inside of here, we can then start by drawing in our mountains and how we might want them to look. Okay, so for this, I'm just simply going to begin drawing them in like so. Okay, something like that. Uh, next, what we want to do is fill it in so that we uh, don't see any of the blue down here. So we'll go to the paint bucket tool, color these in like so. But the problem here is that the mountains look kind of bland okay they don't really look that good at all so how do we fix this well what we want to do is add highlights and shadows to these mountains now to do that we need to figure out okay what sort of direction is the sun going to be facing so let's say the sun is facing the top right corner of the screen here down so that means uh, these sides of the mountains are going to be brighter than the other side of the mountains which are going to have shadows so what I'm gonna do is make it so that we can only draw on this mountain. Because right now, if I select the brush tool and I go to draw highlights with a lighter green, you'll notice that I can sort of go off the edge here, which is something we don't want, okay? We want to only be able to draw inside of uh, this mountain range. So to do that, I'm gonna select the wand tool and I'm going to click on our mountains. So now we have the mountain selected. If I go to my brush tool, and begin drawing, you'll notice that I can only draw on the uh, highlighted pixels, which is great. So let's go through uh, each of our mountains here and just start drawing in the highlights. And there we go. Now, next up, what we need to do is draw in the shadows. So for the shadows, I'm gonna select a darker green here, and I'm gonna go in and just start laying those out as well. Now, I'm gonna follow the mountains uh, sort of topography here. So I'm gonna select this and just go down like that, okay? And as you can see, if I go Control H to get rid of the grid and the outline, that's what it looks like. So I can then maybe add a shadow here. And there we go, something like this where we have the highlights and the shadows of the mountain. Uh, you can of course make it a lot better, but this is just a rough, uh, quick done version of this. Okay, so we've got that, we've got our sky, but the sky doesn't look realistic. Okay, so how do we make our sky look realistic? Well, if you look out in the real world, you will notice that at the horizon, it is much brighter than it is the higher up you go, okay? as as you look down the horizon, you're seeing more of the atmosphere, whereas if you look up, you're seeing basically less of the atmosphere, okay? And you're seeing more into space. So what we need to do is I'm gonna create a new layer here and I'm gonna call this one our sky haze. I'm gonna put this below the mountains, but above the sky. And to do this, we are gonna be using a gradient. Now a gradient is basically um, a thing we can draw out, which basically transitions from one color to another. So if we go over here to our paint bucket tool and hold down left mouse, you'll see that we can select the gradient tool. And before we do that, we actually need to go to our move tool, right click on the mountains, deselect those so we're no longer uh, drawing inside the mountains. Go back to our gradient tool, click and drag, and as you can see, a gradient has now been formed, okay? So uh, at the top corner of the screen here, we have all the gradient settings. We can choose basically the color of the gradient here by double clicking on it to open up the gradient editor. Now for us, we're gonna have it go from white to transparent. So I'm gonna double click on this icon down here to change the first color to white. 
click on the end node here to change that color to white as well. And I'm going to click on these black boxes, which allow us to change the opacity. Uh, it's going to go from 100% down to 0%. Okay. And as you can see, it sort of fades out as it goes along. Hit OK. And now if I click and drag, you'll see that it's sort of like this white fade, like so. Uh, we're going to change it from radial to a sort of linear gradient, so it is much more straight, like so. And at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to click and drag upwards, like that. And there we go. That is our gradient uh, pretty much done. But one thing you may notice is that it's not pixel art, okay? This is a smooth color transition from one to another, whereas down here we have rigid colors. So how do we convert this gradient to a more pixely looking uh, image? Well, the way we can do that is by going up to filter, then we want to go to pixelate, and then we want to click on mosaic. And what Mosaic does is it basically pixelizes an image, okay? It gets your image and it basically splits it up into cells. And each cell can only have one single color. And right now, each cell is five pixels big. And if we increase this number, you'll see the cells are getting bigger and bigger. And if we bring it down, it gets smaller and smaller. So let's set our cells down to five, click OK. And you notice that it now looks a lot more pixely. But it looks too uniform and that's a bit of a problem. So the way we can make it look a bit more wavy and natural is by going control T, right clicking and clicking on warp. And what warp allows us to do is sort of click and drag to move this image around in various different ways, okay? So we can just warp this image around so it looks uh, a bit different like so. All right, we can then hit enter and there we go. That is our atmosphere done. And in fact, we might want to make this warp actually curve down a bit at the edges here hit okay and there we go so that is our pixely horizon right here looking nice uh, you can of course go ahead you can change the sky color you can change the haze color um, that is entirely up to you but this is just our mountain range right here set up and ready to be added to a game